Ladies and gentlemen, this is my top five favorite female superstars. Not of all time, but right now, currently. Um, coming up with this, coming up with this list was pretty tough. Um, in a sense where, like, you know, there's so many females, so many women that has you know trailblazed, um, you know, just the history. Um, you know, so many women. It's just killing it right now, uh, you know. But I did come up with the list, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, uh, number four, number five, starting out, Alexa Bliss, um, former cheerleader, former, um, I think, bodybuilder, and turn wrestler. Um, she didn't really have any prior wrestling uh, background. You know, before she tried out, but um, you know, she, you know, she started out in NXT, um, you know, with, you know, being alongside, you know, Blake and Murphy. Um, she did okay. You know, no, nobody really, you know, nobody was really taking her seriously as far as like being a top competitor. But um, you know, you know, when the draft, when the draft. Um, you know, got back up. She, I think, she went to SmackDown, and she did it okay for the for for a while. But then that led to her ultimate first um, SmackDown Women's Championship reign when she defeated Becky Lynch. I think it was Backlash twenty like sixteen or seventeen, and she was killing it for a while. And then morphed into her, you know, getting. Pushed to SmackDown, pushed to, to Raw, and then that led to a Raw Championship shot, and she won it. She's the very first woman to win both Raw and Women's titles, SmackDown Women's titles, and it's bliss, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at her. Uh, you know, I, for, first and foremost, neither <clears throat> of these women are up here simply because of their looks. It's about... You know what they bring to the table as far as what they do in the ring, and how they carry a few, you know, promo, uh, you know, just their charisma, not just their looks. You know what I'm saying, or their figure. But um, yeah, bliss is bliss is bliss is on on my list. Number five, number four, the irresistible force herself, Nia Jax. This woman, for her size, just her for her build, can be could have been amazing, you know. Um, you know, when she first started out, she was in NXT, um, just killing it, you know, just um, job, you know, not dropping it, but squashing every woman that came to her way. Then that led to her little thing with Asuka for the NXT women's title back when Asuka was very important and she was very, um, you know. She was unbeaten. Nobody could beat her. And I looked at that like, Naya could really beat her. Like, she has, you know, the look. She has the, you know, the build to be the next greatest, you know, female wrestler with that power. You know, um, like, when you think about, like, powerful women, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that, that torch started with, with, you know, with China. Then that kind of got passed to Beth Phoenix, and, and if you guys saw that um, that little stare down with Beth and, and Nia in the first Women's Warrior Rumble, so that kind of that torch kind of got passed to Nia. She was like that. She was today's you know powerful woman that not only can take down women, but she can take it with with the men, as you guys saw. In 2019, Men's Royal Roman, when she came out, number 30, and Tack R Truth had that little thing with, you know, Dolph, Randy, and Ray, um, you know, and so, you know, I felt like she could have been, the, you know, a legit big thing, but of course, you know, typical WWE, you know, booking, and she kind of made out to look like a joke for a while. Um, she had a little thing going with Enzo, and uh, you know, and, you know, she she 
she did ultimately win her first um her first raw women's title against bliss you know bliss and naya are friends on and off screen and you know, they use that storyline that she's big or she's fat, you know, and she'll never win a title alongside Mickey James. And then she ultimately beat, you know, Bliss at WrestleMania 34. And she had her first range for a while. Then that ultimately, she then she lost it, you know, to Bliss because she had a match with Ronda uh, Rousey. Then Bliss cashed in the money in the bank. Then... You know, now he became an afterthought. You know, so the spotlight was now back on Bliss. And then that led to Bliss and Ronda. Then ultimately Ronda got the title. And he- it held it for a long time to that mania. Um, since then, you know, you know, Nia hasn't really... You know, she was in the um, tag team division with Tamina, her cousin, I believe. Uh, then that led to... You know, her, her and, you know, them, you know, going for the tag, women's tag team titles at WrestleMania. You know, with them, the Iconics, who eventually won it. Um, the then champion, Sasha Banks and um, Bayley. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, and then she's she's currently out right now with an injury. I think it was, I don't even remember, to be honest with you, but she's been out for a while. And I was kind of expecting her to come back during the, you know, this past year's Royal Rumble. Uh, every time the the clock down, clock was going down, I was just like, Nia Jax, Nia Jax, Nia Jax. I, I love me some Nia, man. You know, and yeah, I hope hopefully she comes back, man. Hope she comes back. Number three can be surprising because, you know, she kind of peaked for me. Um, during last year and now at the beginning of this year, the whole of the entire year of 2019, and especially now, um, the current NXT Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Now, she would not be on my list at all if this was 2018 and below. But um, she, like I said, she peaked for me last year, you know, with the whole, you know, when she came out and challenged Shayna and Shayna Baszler, the then champion, then that led to her, um, you know, being in the War Games match, you know, with her, Candice, Candice, Candice LeRae, um, Dakota Kai, I believe, and um, which ultimately led to her turning on Tegan Knotts, you know, and. But they still ended up winning that match. Um, Rhea pinned Shayna. And then that led to, you know, uh, her defeating Shayna for the title, you know, right before 2020 came along. Um, Just her earring style, her look, uh, just her, just her look is just good to me, man. Um, uh, Pretty good in the ring. And her thing knocks. It, 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 It knocks. It knocks, bro. And I love Rick, Rhea Ripley, man. The current NXT Women's Champion. Um, you know, she... I mean, I, she was cool. You know, she was I right to me when she was in NXT UK. You know, battling for the uh, NXT UK Women's title against Tony Storm. You know, she was all right. You know, but, you know, she really peaked for me. And I really love her style. You know, recently with the whole 2019 run, um, you know, challenging for the NXT Women's title. And now she's on top of the world. And I'm looking forward, you know, to now. Like, what, what's what's next? She defeated Tony Storm at um at the recent Worlds Collide um, pay-per-view. And so, like, what's next? You know, obviously she's going to face Bianca Belair, uh, a woman that peaked very well. In the the women's Royal Rumble, this past Royal, women's Royal Rumble, eliminating like what eight nine women and lasting like at least thirty forty minutes, so she killed it, you know, um, is her, but um yeah so that's gonna be a good match that's gonna be in Port NXT Takeover Portland which is in a couple weeks, 
So, um, we'll see what's next for Rhea Ripley, man. I hopefully she holds the title for a long time, for a while. You know, she deserves that shot. Uh, number two on this list, the man, <laughs> the man, Becky Lynch. Now Becky was, you know, she was one of the four horse women. Um, so I, 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 I've always liked Becky. You know, I've always felt like it was Charlotte, Sasha, Bailey, then Becky. You know, I, feel, you know, what I'm saying like I've always felt like she had the harder end of the stick because of the the, the, the recognition that you know Charlotte always got. She's Ric Flair's daughter. You know, she so. I always knew that she was going to get more shine, more opportunities, more championships. And that's unfortunate because I feel like Becky is up there with Charlotte. You know, um, like I said, Charlotte, Sasha, then Bailey, then Becky. You know what I'm saying? Um, She first came in debuting alongside Charlotte and Sasha. And that, you know, that whole little, you know, got Bella Twins over here. Fox, and then, you know, PCB, 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 Paige, Charlotte, and and, and Becky, then you have Tamina, Naomi, and Sasha, that was okay to me, I I was, uh, you know, what a way to get them on, get all of them on, but I, it was okay, but um, that led to pretty much nothing for Becky, you know, she was always that star that you wanted to see rise and get praise, but she was always a level below than you know whoever you know the company was pushing at that time. Obviously Charlotte or or Bailey or Sasha, you know. And I felt like I felt like it was finally time to get that recognition that she deserved and that little heel turn at um, SummerSlam against Charlotte. Was it 2018? And that was the start of the man. Of the man. And I've been loving Becky ever since. You know, I've been a fan of Becky, like I said, since NXT. You know, her time in NXT, then obviously, you know, when she, when she, um, you know, when she debuted. And now, seeing all this success, it's amazing, man. It's great. You know, and, it ain't like she's just getting all this shine and not backing it up in the rings. Like she's had match of the year candidates uh, with Charlotte, with um, with Ronda. You know what I'm saying? Well, they haven't had their one on one match like they should have. But anyway, um, you know, Oscar, um, just a list of of you know. Women that she's gone one on one with, but um, I love Becky, man. SmackDown Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, um, yeah, Becky Lynch, the man, the man, the man. Seriously, yeah. And my number one favorite female superstar in today's WWE. It's the one, the only, Sasha Banks. Man, oh man. Sasha Banks has always peaked for me. Um, out of the four horsewomen, she's always been my favorite. You know, I, I didn't fall for all that shoving Charlotte down my throat. I was like, no, this woman right here can be it. She killed in NXT as a baby and a, and a heel. Mostly as a heel. She's always been best as a heel. Um, Sasha Banks, man. You know, having that incredible match at, what was it, Brooklyn? NXT Brooklyn TakeOver? I think it was the first one or second one. With with Bayley. You know, a match that, you know, that women, not only our age, but women that's like 30, 40, 50 even six, seven, or eight, it was mesmerized by and influenced them that women can do this too. You know what I'm saying? Like women can 
can go out there and kill it and have match of the night, match of the year, uh, matches that can go up against the men's, you know? And um, I'm just proud, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sasha, she, you know, she also was a part of a match, a first ever, first ever female match alongside Alexa Bliss. And I think it was Saudi Arabia, you know, um, Everybody knows that women don't doesn't get you know, the chances, the opportunities um, that they get here, there. You know what I'm saying? Like women has to cover up. You know, women don't get that opportunity to to show who they really are. So, and people in the crowd was like, "This is hope. This is hope." And given you know the the you know pushing the envelope that women can do this too. You know what I'm saying? And Sasha was a part of that, you know, a former Raw Women's Champion, um, you know, currently now on SmackDown, uh, soon, very soon, the next SmackDown Women's Champion, yes sir, um, uh, she was the, the first ever Women's Tag Team Champion alongside Bayley, um, you know, she had like, Crappy, not even crappy, but it's not very good um, matches, you know, or like storylines, or like, like the beef that I had with her. That's not just with her, not with her, but like as far as her booking, like she was win, she will win the championship on Sunday and lose it, you know, two weeks later or hold it a week later. You know what I'm saying? Like, she never truly had lengthy reigns like a Shayna Baszler with the NXT title or the current reign that Becky is having right now with the Raw Women's title. You know what I'm saying? Like, she will always win it, then lose it a day later or through two, three weeks later. You know, that, that made me mad, man. Like, she she deserves it. Like, she's she's the boss. The boss. You know? And she deserves that child. She deserves that opportunity to show everyone that, you know, Charlotte ain't everything. You know what I'm saying? They have these other three, you know, female competitors that can go up against Charlotte as far as marketing and, and, and doing all this press, you know, and that can go in the ring. You know, Sasha, Sasha is it, you know? And... She's shown it time and time again with Match of the Year candidates with Charlotte. You know, she was a part of the first Hell in a Cell, female Hell in a Cell. Female Hell in a Cell, man. She was with Charlotte. Um, She was a part of that triple threat match with alongside Becky and Charlotte at WrestleMania 32. You know? Um, All these accolades and all these accomplishments. And she's pretty much done relatively nothing with it you know you know it's not her fault it's not it's none of the talent's fault it's just booking and and how they you know get these superstars on you know but Sasha my favorite female superstar um yeah, it's it's Charlotte, man. It's 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 Sasha. So, my top five women, top five women right now: Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, Rhea Ripley, Becky, the man, and the boss, Sasha Banks. What are who are your favorite female superstars? You know. Or any of these women on your list, let me know. And until my next video, yes, sir.